And Todd Preston's here from DA Davidson, and we're talking about the action yesterday. Talk about breaking some records, Dow and S and P. Yeah. So uh, Fed Chairman Powell gave some pretty good indications of what they might do. That that gave the market a spark. So the Dow was up 217. The S and P was up uh, about seven. Uh, didn't close above 3,000, but it traded above 3,000 again. It's traded above 3,000 the last two days. The futures indicate that it's going to be opening above 3,000, so we'll see if we can actually close above three. The NASDAQ on Wednesday actually did close in record territory, so although they sold off yesterday, uh, they, it, it's been a strong market for them as well. So all in all, um, July has started off very well. All right, and let's talk about the Fed. It sounds like all eyes are on the Fed right now. They are, yeah. So yesterday he testified before Congress, and they, they've indicated that they will be preemptive. If they see the economy beginning to falter, they will, make, uh, they will ro cut rates. And so the anticipation now is that they, when they meet in July, then of July 30 and 31, that they will cut rates. Uh, and so that sparked the rally. However, there was a Treasury auction yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. Nobody really showed up to buy, so rates went up yesterday, interestingly. So we'll see how that all plays out. But a couple of the numbers that the Fed looks at, it's not their favorite numbers, but CPI, which measures inflation, uh, that was down a little bit. Their target is 3%. It's running annually about 2.6. Mm -hmm. So that gives them a little bit of room. Um, but of course, then we still have China to deal with. and. And President Trump indicated that, that uh, they're not being as cooperative as they should be. That trade deal is still expected, but, but uh, hasn't happened. And then we had the jobless number come in. Job, right. Jobless uh, claims dropped again. And so the, you know, we're basically at full employment. So the economy is doing well. Um, if we do see the rate cut, the market loves that, even though it may not be necessary. Um, hopefully it doesn't create a bubble, but um, as of right now, the dog days of summer are, are giving way to some, some enthusiasm. All right, well, Todd, thank you so much for joining yeah. us here and getting us all filled in on that. We'll be back after this break.